This video is entitled A Simple HTML Document Explained, and it's a companion piece to the book So You Want to Learn HTML and CSS, Chapter 1, Part B. I'm James M. Renault, Ph.D. from Shawnee State University, and I'll be taking you through this presentation. In this video, I'll be showing you a simple HTML document. It will include the following tags, doc type, the HTML tag, the head tag, the meta tag, the title tag, the body tag, the h1 tag, and the p tag. I'll go through each of them individually and together as an entire document and show you how they all work. So here we have a simple HTML document. It's about as easy as an HTML document will get. And uh, I want to go through each and every line of this and discuss what they all mean. Um, so this is an HTML document. You may need to flip back and refer to this. Um, so pay attention to where you are in the slide in the presentation so that you can remember the, the video point to, to pop back and take a look at the whole thing. The first line of our HTML document is the tag exclamation point doc type HTML. What this line does is it tells the world, it tells every system that's opening the file what the file contains, HTML. It is um, part of the XML standard. Um, it is part of the XML standard to have that doc type. And it's, uh, it's just good style to put that on the top of your page. You'll see people who have older HTML 4.0 pages and others that leave that out. But it's especially important that it's there so that modern web browsers will know that it's HTML. You'll also see some websites, if you look at others' code, where the doc type is this great big long thing instead of just HTML. Because if it was an H XHTML 1.1 document, the doc type would be different. But it tells the uh, it tells the web browser that this document is HTML formatted and follows the living standard. That's what Doctype HTML tells the world. The next tag, which is on line two of the document, on an, uh, and on the very last line of the document, is the open HTML tag and the close HTML tag. What this says is that everything between those two tags is an HTML document. Um, you're not really allowed to put anything except the doc type between those two tags. So um, the other thing is notice that on the first one where it says HTML, it says lang equal quote en. So I have told the world that this is an HTML document and the language is EN English. If it were a page in Spanish, I would say, quote, ES. If it was a, a, a page in French, I would say FR. And, and there are two letter abbreviations for um, all of the other world languages. So you can write your HTML page in any language. But because this demonstration is in English, I'm using the quote en to, to specify the language. The next tag on the third line is the head tag. And you can see a couple of lines further down, you'll see the close head tag. The every document must have a head, a head section with a head begin and a head end. And the head is the place where document information is. It's not stuff that is directly shown to the to the user on the web browser screen, but it's stuff that that the uh, web browser uses and search engines use to uh, better understand what this page is all about. So every document must have a head, and um, it ought to be up at the top right under the HTML and it contains specific information about the page. After the head in the example, I have two lines called meta tags. And meta tags are void tags. In other words, they don't have a slash close meta. And a meta tag contains information about the page. 
um, machine readable information about the page. So this meta, this page has two meta tags. The first says meta char set equals quote UTF dash eight quote. And that says that this document is formatted in the UTF dash eight way of styling of, of saving a file to the computer hard drive. Um, it's kind of the most standard, it's the most common standard of ways to stay, save files to the, to the uh, computer disk. The second meta, notice that it has two attributes. Oh, and those things inside the tag with the name equal something are called attributes. So the second, second meta tag has two attributes. The first is a name saying, what is the name of the value? And then what is the content of the value? So the name author is me. Um, in your web pages, I would love for you to include a meta tag with the name author and the content you. So meta tags are only allowed in the head and contain extra information about the page. The last tag in the head that we're going to talk about is the title tag. And the title is required in every head of every HTML document. You need to put a title on every page. And the title should be um, five or six words, just a meaningful description of what the page is. And that title is often displayed in Google searches and search engine searches of your page as what the page is. Um, it's also displayed in the uh, title bar of your web browser. So be sure that the title says something meaningful. Thrown a lot at you, so I want to go back to the original document and you can see the doc type, the HTML beginning and end. You can see the head beginning and end. You can see the two metas, and you can see the title. And now we're going to jump into the body and what's inside the body of this HTML document. So the next tag is the body tag. And the body tag has the body begin and body begin, body end. Notice that it follows the head end. You can't have a body beginning in the head, the head separate from the body. Now, with us, the head is connected to the body, and, and I guess in an HTML document, the head is connected to the body because they're part of the same HTML document. But uh, the body starts after the head finishes, and all of the visible content, all of the content that's shown on the web browser, is in the body. Your document is allowed to have one body like it's allowed to have one head, just like you only have one head and you only have one body. The first tag within our body is the H1 tag. The H1 tag represents a header, level one. Now, a header is not the same as a heading, is not the same as a head, because you're going to see all three of those, and, and they mean different things. But a header is a special text. It's text that appears. It's usually big and bold and juicy up at the top of the page. Um, there are six different levels of headers, H1, H2, H3, and they get smaller as the number gets higher. So an H1 is the kind of title of the, of the page that shows up in the web browser. Um, also notice that my first web page and, and AMP semicolon, what is that crazy thing? Well, because the ampersand, the, yeah, the ampersand, has specific meanings in HTML, just like a less than does and a greater than does. If you want to show them, you have to escape them and show them using this crazy format. Um, that format is of uh, some characters is shown in the book, but you can see here the ampersand AMP semicolon says display the ampersand character where there's one of that with that ampersand a and p semicolon and so that's going to to display a header that says my first web page and example and the last new tag in this presentation is the p tag or the paragraph tag the paragraph tag is just what it sounds like a paragraph of text one or more sentences that all kind of go together as a paragraph. Now, the web browser 
automatically is going to strip any white space. So if you have a line and you press enter and have another line and press enter and have another line and press enter and then close your paragraph tag, your paragraph isn't going to break where you do in your document. HTML is going to put all those back together and, uh, and reformat them as a single paragraph when it displays on the web page. The same with uh, tabs or any other special characters or double spaces or anything else you may have. HTML is automatically going to remove all of those. The web browser is going to remove all of those and just display it the way it wants to display a paragraph. That, that allows for different people to use different typographic standards but them all be displayed the same on a web page. So there was the simple web page. That concludes this presentation. This presentation is copyright 2020 by James Zimbrano, PhD. You can contact me at jim at renejm.com if you have any questions about this presentation. This work is licensed under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, share alike, 4.0 international license, and I would like to say thank you for watching.